Okay, so it is uh, June 5th, 2022, and I was on C-SPAN again. Thank you, C-SPAN, for having me on, talking about Ukraine and Putin. This fight, and I think something that Vladimir Putin clearly did not expect. Here's me. Let's go back to our phone lines and talk to Thomas, who's calling from Delray Beach, Florida, on the Republican line. Thomas, good morning. Good morning. Thanks again for having me. Always love the program. Uh, you guys are the best in the business. So I just want to start off. I do have a question, but I just want to start off by saying, as a Republican, and I'm on the moderate side of Republicans, but I'm a Republican nonetheless, I am 100% pro-Ukraine, and every single Republican that I know personally supports Ukraine and is against Putin. And I'm seeing a lot of liberals on social media uh, make the accusation that Republicans uh, are standing with Russia or that we support Russia or the claim that if Trump was in office, he would be supporting Putin. I think that's absolute nonsense. I don't think that's true whatsoever. And it's interesting to note, Russia didn't invade while Trump was in office. But to move past Trump, here's kind of both a statement and a question in one. What will it take for us to restore normal economic relations with Russia? Because in my opinion, Putin has gone too far and he has to go. I don't think we can ever have any semblance of normal diplomatic relations with Russia so long as Putin or anybody connected to Putin or anybody who's a a puppet of Putin remains in office. Putin needs to be gone. He needs to either be arrested uh, handed over to the Ukrainians, exiled, whatever it is, but the Putin regime has to go and has to go forever before Russia can even think about rejoining the world stage. So my question would be, uh, what do you think the uh, long-term solution is to morality, and what do you think the chances are of Putin being ousted for good? Thank you. I think that the long-term economic consequences is that Russia will be isolated from the international economy. Uh, it will try to restore some semblance of internet. He didn't exactly address uh, the part about Putin. He just said that Russia is going to be, you know, basically punished for a long time, uh, and they'll have to uh, repay Ukraine a lot. But anyway, uh, thank you very much to C-SPAN.